So uh, that is it, Mr. Veraldo. Uh, can you uh, prepare yourself? Because it's now time for the room nine, the last room, and that will be that. So, Veraldo, are you going to present uh, anything on the screen? Sorry. Oh, your your mic. So, okay. can I share my screen? Yes, definitely. You have the it's... power. Okay. Can you, can you see my screen? Yes. So, I'm going to talk about the discussion of Puma. It's uh, this image, this picture shows and summarizes the main results of the discussion. Um, you have six projects. The first project is improvement of team building module. So put new functionalities, testing, making a mobile version. And the second project is improvement of P assessment module. So the same activities, put new functionalities, uh, validate this module because these two modules have developed by Tunisian team and Brazilian team in the last semester in the partnership. So you, you need to improve this module. And and the, the project three is integration, these modules, P assessment and team building. Uh, yes, integration, integration codes and the other functionalities. The project four is automated trainings and the workshops based on P assessment and team building based on Based on lacks of skills, of abilities uh, of students and work workers, so lacks of skills. So project four. Project five is about stakeholder interface, allocation of projects, get new projects, centralizing projects. So, and the last project is gamification model. So the idea is to support the games, the, the game techniques, because the main idea of Puma is to centralize projects and aut automate process of projects. So this is the main idea. So you need or oh, better. You can help projects, the other projects. Um, you have six Brazilian teams. You have four Tunisian teams and any Denmark teams because the other projects. So collaboration between Tunisia, Brazil and Denmark, three countries. And uh, time for merchandise. Uh, you have an uh, international workshop, Puma workshop. This workshop, this congress, you happen in Thailand, but it's possible on um, part, face to face participation and uh, virtual participation. So you are welcome in this Congress, and that's it. Six projects, many insights, collaboration between three countries, and new ideas, new functionalities. Yeah, that's it, it's the results. Thank you very much, Mr. Veraldo. Uh, it is uh, really interesting, yeah, we're gonna have this six Battlefronts uh, for for the project next uh, semester, 
uh, which is this great software uh, uh, that's more than a software. It's like uh, an entire platform uh, for connecting the market to university projects and also to managing well uh, the entire group of university projects. So I think that's a very great idea, and it's good to see that we are that we will be evolving so much in the next semester. Uh, do we have any? other comments on this or suggestions or questions yeah so uh that's uh that's it thank you very much mr everaldo uh thank we're gonna you. Have, uh, thank you very much uh we're gonna have the uh uh, Denmark and, and uh, Tunisia and also Brazil as high potential mm, partners on this and uh, right now so uh, given that we have finished our project presentations so uh, a lot of projects uh, we have like nine rooms but we have much more projects inside these rooms as we know we have a lot of courses uh, here uh, in Brazil and all, also uh, from uh, uh, the, the, the partner countries, uh, for example, as we mentioned, Tunisia and Denmark, and uh, also also Norway, for example, as was mentioned, the, the Netherlands. So uh, we got, we're going to have a lot of students working on many of the battlefronts related to these proposals that were presented here. So. Uh, I already thank all of the teams for the presentations and for the great work on building these proposals for future students. It was really cool. So uh, before uh, our official closing, uh, I would like to uh, uh, like pass the word uh, a little bit for for uh, yeah uh, Professor João Melo and Jens to say a few words about it because we had uh, we had a previous event which was the global students SDG challenge we also had epic and now we uh, we made a, a wonderful fusion and created a new event called the new epic plus SDG challenge uh, which is this event uh, 